Hi there. In the following video, I'm going to answer for you uh, the January 2010 question 7 in the Core 4 OCR A-level paper. The question again is on implicit differentiation. Here we go. Question 7 says, find the equation of the normal to this implicit curve at the point 2, 1 and give your answer in a certain form. Okay, very easy question, 8 marks. I'd be delighted if one like this came up and you just kept your head about you. Differentiate everything with respect to x to start with. So let's do it in the way we usually do it. We differentiate everything we see with respect to x. So differentiate x cubed with respect to x and you get 3x squared. Okay, then uh, differentiate 2 x squared y with respect to x. Now I'm going to think of this as a product rule. That's my u and this is going to be my v and the product rule says the differential of u times v is u v dash plus v u dash. Okay, so differentiating this, keep your u as it is, keep your 2x squared, okay, and differentiate this which would literally be dy by dx okay and then plus right now you want to keep your y y times the differential of 2x squared which would be 4x okay and writing that neatly out there this would be 2x squared dy by dx plus 4xy tidying that up Okay, and lastly, let's just differentiate uh, y cubed with respect to x. Well, always with these, instead of differentiating with respect to x, differentiate using the chain rule with respect to uh, y and post multiply by dy over dx to adjust. And the answer for this, differentiating this with respect to y is 3y squared, and you've still got your dy over dx. Okay, now, obviously differentiating a number 15 just goes to zero. So let's write out our next line there. When we add these two things and uh, when we differentiate both sides and we combine everything. Okay, this is going to differentiate to 3x squared. This differentiates, as we've seen, to 2x squared dy by dx plus 4xy. And we've got an equal sign. The difference of y cubed well, we've said that's 3y squared dy by dx, and the difference of 15 is nothing. Okay, now, at this point, we wanted to find uh, the equation of the normal at the point 2, 1. So we need the gradient of the tangent at 2, 1. So I'm going to stick in x is 2 and y is 1 straight away at this point. x is 2, y is 1. Before rearranging, I think it makes life a whole lot easier. Okay, so x squared would be 4, and 3 lots of 4 would be 12. x squared is 4, and 2 lots of 4 would be 8. So you'd have 12 plus 8 dy by dx. 4 times 2 times 1 is simply 8, so you'd have plus 8. y squared would be 1. 3 lots of 1 would be 3, so you'd have 3 dy by dx. OK, well, rearrange. Um, 12 plus 8 is 20. Well, I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides to get that number on this side. So I'd have minus 20. 8 dy by dx's, subtract 3 dy by dx's, is 5 dy by dx's. So dy by dx is minus 20 over 5, which is equal to minus 4. So, we know that the gradient at 2, 1 of the tangent is minus uh, 4. So, therefore, the, uh, let's just write that down. The gradient of tangent at 2, 1 is minus 4. So, therefore, we can say the gradient of the normal is the negative reciprocal. So, it's minus 1 over minus 4 which is a quarter. Okay, and now we can just substitute in 
to the equation of a line y minus y1 is m x minus x1 with our x1 and y1 2 1 so we would write y minus 1 is equal to a quarter x minus 2 we're nearly home now multiply everything by 4 to remove that fraction I get 4y minus 4 is equal to x minus 2 okay we want it in this form don't forget um, so why don't we bring everything to to ones uh, to this side why don't we subtract 4y and add 4 to both sides so 0 would be equal to x minus 4y and minus 2 plus 4 is equal to plus 2 hence you have it in the form you want where a is 1 b is minus 4 and c is 2 I hope you found that useful in your revision for implicit differentiation thank you for listening